If you play Rocket League and watch YouTube, you probably know Musty. And just in case this is your first time watching Rocket League videos and for some reason you ended up here, I apologize. Anyway, Musty is one of the biggest Rocket League content creators out there. He uploads a great variety of content, but the one I like the most is his 1v1 series. I can say with 100% certainty that I watch all of his 1v1 videos all the way through. In case you never watched it, in his series Once Until I Lose, Musty plays Once Until He Loses. Not much of a surprise there, but he also talks about his thought process while he's playing, commentating on what went right or wrong as it happens, and that's actually the best part. His commentary is always very informative, insightful, and if you pay close attention, there's a lot of good advice there for what to do and not to do in 1v1s for all ranks, given that he was Grand Champion for a very long time and now Super Sonic Legend. So today we're gonna talk about a few key aspects of Musty's 1v1 playstyle, his decision making, and 5 reasons why I believe Musty is a 1v1 god. Irakali. I don't think I can count all the times I've heard Musty saying, I need to get a good recovery now. This is a great example of how important for him is to have clean recoveries and conservation of momentum, especially in ones. Whenever Musty saves a difficult shot, he pays a lot of attention to land properly on the goal to be ready for the next attack, hold power slay whenever necessary, and make sure his half flips are as clean and consistent as possible, knowing there's nobody behind him to back him up. He even backs out of a potential scoring opportunity if he thinks he's not gonna get a good recovery if he misses. I think this is a concept that we overlook a lot in the lower ranks. And something that I learned from Musty is that any mechanic has actually two parts, the mechanic itself and the recovery, and both are equally important. Paying close attention to what you do after a save or a shot, and working on keeping your momentum around the field is gonna help you a lot in every mode, but in ones more than any other. It's safe to say that Musty pretty much knows what he can and cannot do, and his gameplay reflects that very well. It's quite rare to see Musty going for some crazy mechanical freestyle shot when he's tryhard and in ranked. For the most part, he sticks to mechanics he knows he can pull off, and that is something that might be hard to notice, because the amount of mechanics that Musty has available to use are a lot more than the average player, and that can lead to some confusion. I mean, we watch Musty and he just keeps scoring with these complicated flicks and double fix and eligible bumps and we don't get the same result when we try those things in our games. But you have to keep in mind that when Musty goes for, say, an eligible bump, he knows he can nail 90% of them. Or to put it in perspective, Musty can do eligible bumps with the same consistency that a champion player can pick up boost. And by this I don't mean you shouldn't go for crazy shots in ranked, you play the game however you want, but you will definitely win more games if you use the mechanics you're most comfortable with, while you keep training to improve the ones you're not. Musty can read minds. Okay, maybe not, but a lot of times it definitely looks like he can. Pretty much since his first videos, he stressed the importance of trying to predict your opponent's movements. He is very good in putting himself in the shoes of his rivals and figure out what's the most likely decision they will make next, seconds before they make it. And not only on defense, when he's trying to infer what his opponents will do with the ball. Musty does the same thing on offense, trying to anticipate how his opponents think he is gonna shoot and whether or not they think he knows it. This here requires a special kind of power. Or does it? Well, as good as Musty is, he's certainly not superhuman. The reason he's been able to develop that anticipation mindset is because he's trained his mechanics so much he doesn't have to think about them anymore. Not all of them, of course, but let's consider one mechanic that is crucial to 1v1s. Dribbling. I'm a champion player, and when I'm dribbling towards my opponent's goal, most of my attention is directed to not dropping the ball. I almost never had time to predict how my opponents are going to defend. Not because I don't want to or because I don't realize it's the smart thing to do, but because I still struggle with basic dribbling. I just haven't practiced it enough. It becomes clear that, in order to obtain the kind of prediction powers Musty has, first we have to be extremely comfortable with our mechanics. Musty knows this, and he uses it in a brilliant way. I can sometimes feel the confusion of Masty's opponents when he's approaching their half of the field with boost and a good bounce of the ball. It's quite impressive how a lot of times they don't seem to know what he's gonna do. A dribble? A dribble bump? A regular old flick? Is he gonna fake? Is he gonna fake the fake? Or is he gonna fake faking the fake? Musty himself has recognized in the past that his once playstyle is weird. 
which is really another way to say unpredictable, but I think in Masti's case, it's a bit more than that. It's very difficult to try and explain this with an example, since it's very situational, but Musty often does things that at first seem counterintuitive, and after a closer look, you realize they just don't make sense. And I think that right there is what he's trying to make his opponents think when he does these weird things, like driving away from the ball for no reason or any other type of nonsense. And I always think, why on earth would he do that? And if you think about it, playing in a way that makes your opponent ask himself what on earth are you doing is a big brain move. Now, we could boil down all of this to say that Musty just does a lot of fakes. But the problem is that it's not just fakes, it's the layers of fakes between which Musty often traps his opponents. Which actually takes me to my last point, which is that Musty's mind games are just next level. If you pay attention, you will notice that Musty keeps track of whether his opponents are falling for his mind games or not, and based on that information, he decides what he's going to do. If he faked the guy three times in a row, Musty might predict his opponent will be waiting for another fake, unless maybe it's a play in which a fake would be too on the nose, so the opponent knows that Musty is thinking about faking again, but since that's the case, Musty might not do it, so the opponent prepares to not be faked and he gets faked again, because Musty saw right through that. Is this some kind of secret power? Again, Probably not. It's hours and hours and hours of playing 1v1s, getting comfortable enough with your mechanics so you can make room in your brain for thinking about what you're going to do without having to worry how. We can all agree that Musty is a pretty good 1v1 player. He's certainly not the best, but that's not the point here. I truly believe he plays Rocket League with a very creative and unique style. And I think pretty much all of us can benefit from his educational content on 1v1s. You will find a link to his Once Until I Lose series on the description below, in case you want to check it out. My name is Frosty, thanks for watching.